Okay, people. This is a Tales from the Pen, but it's a special Daughters and Parents edition, okay? But mainly for the daughters, okay? Today we're going to talk a little bit, and I only found it fitting to do this because it's National Daughter Day, right? And I have a daughter. She's about to be 12. So these are things I've talked to her about and, you know, I, you know, I've been drilling her for years about, right? Because, you know, here's the thing, people. We're in a whole different generation. We're in a whole different world than we, than we as parents grew up in, okay? In this day and age of social media, and this day and age of everything that's going on in the world with the TVs and YouTube and all the rest of this, you know, the subliminals come quick, and they come hard, and they come when they're young. Right? They come when they're young. Let me give you an example. So, my daughter, I try to watch shows sometimes with her that, you know, we can watch together. You know, I've done the whole Stranger Things, all three seasons and things like that, right? So, she had asked me to what, Daddy, my friends watch this show and I want to watch it with you. I said, okay, what's it called, Maya? She says, it's called Riverdale. I said, what's Riverdale about? She said, it's about the old Archie comic books. Daddy grew up on Archie comic books. Reggie, Jughead, Veronica, Betty, and the Peoples. Yo, that's my thing. Daddy read all the comics when he was little. Let's do it. Right? So I go, I put the show on with her, okay? <clears throat> now, if anybody knows the comic book, Archie's a little skinny redhead guy, you know, maybe get sand kicked in his face type kid. And the librarian in the comic book, Mrs. Grundy, she's about 95 years old, right? So we turn this show on, Riverdale, which is supposed to be, again, based on the Archie comic books. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here it is in the second scene of the first show. Archie, who looks like He-Man, this kid is big diesel kid. He's in the back seat with Mrs. Grundy, who turned from a 90-year-old librarian into a 22-year-old Malibu blonde. And they're in the back seat taking their clothes off. Er, pause. Pause, let's stop right here. She's 11. You know, but you know, I found myself in some type of dilemma because it's like, how do I keep my child relevant in her circle? Right? How do I do that when all these other parents, this is for the parents, right? When the parents are not really paying attention to what is going on. To the parents, I say, listen, you need to pay attention to what your kids is watching and what's going on and what they're looking at and the social media that's happening. Right? You have to. You have to pay attention. Because the subliminals are, like I said, they're crazy right now. It just made, it got me upset that, you know, I had to pause and explain certain things to her. But it just made me want to go over and, 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 and you know, she told me a couple of the, her friends' names that, that watching. I just wanted to go over and knock on their door and smack their fathers. Because they're not paying attention. They're not really understanding what's going on. People, you got to pay attention to what your kid is doing. You have to. Especially in this day and age, like I said, with social media. Everything that's going on Facebook. Because here's the thing. And my daughter understands this. Okay? In this day and age, if it's on Facebook, it must be true. Right? If you do something with a boy, you even kiss a boy. By the time you get to school the next day, you were with him and three of his friends. And guess what? It's on Facebook, so it must be true. No. You got to pay attention. Because in this day and age with bullying and all the, 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 you know, these young kids are killing themselves over what people post about them on social media, people. This ain't a game. This is for real. This is real life. People are killing themselves over little silly things, these kids, because, what's, because here's the thing. When you're young, the emotions are strong. They're different. We had a little girl here where I live at. I think she was 19. Her mother took her phone. She jumped off the porch over here and died right here in Brooklyn live in Brooklyn now because she took her phone another little girl recently I think she was 17 got found hung in the closet she hung herself in the closet I think it had something to do over a boy it's like come on I, you know I blame a lot of this on because you got to understand what's going on and what, 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 how the world is now it's different than when, when we grew up 
And this is for the little girls. Let me let me let you know a little secret, right? There's no such thing in junior high school and high school especially. I'm talking to you guys. There's no such thing as kissing and not telling these boys. These boys don't know what that means, kissing and not telling. Because they will kiss and tell no matter what they tell you to your face. This is the lines you're going to hear. You're going to hear, listen, if you love me, you'll do it. You're going to hear, I'm not like the other boys. You're going to hear, I'm not, I'm not like them. I'm different. You're going to hear, I promise I won't tell anybody. Guess what? Guess what? It's all a lie. Every single line I just told you, every single line I just said, it's all a lie. Because as soon as you do something with this boy, guess what? He's telling all his friends. As soon as you leave the house, or as soon as you, he leaves your house, however it is, he's telling everybody. Because especially at that age, they don't really understand. They're trying to validate themselves as, as their men now. And how, how do you validate yourself as being a man? By showing, you know, and letting people know that you've done this with this girl, this with this girl, and that with that girl. 1,000%. Let me let you ladies in on another secret, right? That picture that you're sending him is not just for him. He will not keep that to himself. He's going to show all his boys no matter what he tells you. That's a fact. He's going to tell everybody. So I say this to you little girls. Don't get caught up in that. When you hear these type lines. You can go back and say. Hmm Fred. I remember Fred ran that line. He said that line. Yeah I did. I ran it back then. And I'm telling you now. There's no such thing as a secret. And here's what I tell my child, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, right? For all you, especially you little girls in junior high schools, and high schools, check this out. If you don't want people to do it, to, to, to know it, then don't do it. It's a real simple line. If you don't want people to know, then don't do it. Because they're going to find out. And then your reputation gets, 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 gets you know, smashed. Because here's the reality, I, I've seen girls recently that I knew in junior high school, high school or whatever, you know, and they could be with the same guy for 10, 15 years, have four kids and be in a, you know, a relationship. But you know what? When I see them, I think to myself, hmm, I remember you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember you well. And I remember all the people you were with, too. Because a lot of reputations are established now, junior high school and high school. Don't be that girl. Don't be that girl that 10, 15 years from now you regretted a lot of stuff you did in junior high school. No. If you don't want people to know, do not do it. I don't, and I don't care what lines they run on you and what lines that they tell you. They are lying to you. They will not keep a secret, and you will be the butt of people's jokes. That's a fact. Don't be the butt of people's jokes. Have your honor. You got to understand that your body is, 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 is your temple. Your body is the most precious thing you know, to you. You can't let these boys tell you all these lines. Because all they want to do is to hit and run. You're just a notch under, the, under their belt. Don't be that. They just want to hit and run. Remember that. And I know there's some young fellas out there watching like, Oh, Fred hating. No, I'm not hating. I got a daughter. And it's National Daughter Day. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got to blow this spot up. There's no such thing as a secret, and that picture is not just for him. Remember that. Remember what I said. And to you parents out there, you got to pay attention to what's going on. 
what they listening to, what they watching, everything. You got to pay attention. You know, I spoke about this Cardi B thing. It's like crazy. It's it's what they it's what people want you to listen to. Cause let me tell you something. I drive for a living, and one of my clients that I had was one of her producers. Was one of Cardi B's producers. You know what he told me? She did not write one single word on her album. Not one. So she was created by other people to put out there. So all these little girls, hey, following Cardi B, and they don't even understand. You know, the rap music now, especially with these girls, especially with the female rappers, there's not one positive female rapper out there. From Cardi to Megan to any of these other ones I don't even know that I hear on the radio. Everything that I hear from a female rapper on the radio is just crazy. It's just stripper music. And your kids dancing and you're doing all this crazy shit in the mirror when you're not around. Parents. It's not, it's no more MC Lights. It's no more Queen Latifah trying to spit some positivity. None of that. It's, it's, if it's positive shit, that gets pushed to the side. That's the way it goes. It's a, you know, a lot of this music is just even for male rappers. You know what I'm saying? I remember my man Saigon, you know, shout out to Saigon. I remember Saigon, you know, he was preaching a lot of positivity, dropping knowledge, and you know what? His thing got pushed to the side. One of the most official rappers ever. Because that's just how it is. It's positivity. You don't want positivity. You want your kid dummy down. That's a fact. Don't let them dummy your kid down. Pay attention to what's going on, parents. Pay attention to the shows they're watching. Because a lot of these kids try to emulate what they're watching and what they're seeing, man. That's just the way it is. You know, I'm not saying, you know, things, you know, aren't going to happen. You're going you're gonna to learn lessons in life. And some lessons you're going to have to learn on your own, kids. But as I say in my videos, experience is the greatest teacher, but somebody else's experience could be just as valuable if you listen. Listen to me on National Daughter Day. I want to shout out to, you know, everyone who has a daughter, and I want to shout out all the daughters out there. Please listen to my message. Please listen to my message. Don't let them fool you. <laughs> Don't let them fool you, girls. Because it's all a lie. And, you know, on that note, I just wanted to, you know, do this brief, you know, PSA, public service announcement for all the little girls out there. That's all I wanted to do. And that's what I did. So listen to me. Salute to everyone who has a daughter. And you got to protect that treasure, man. Your daughter's a treasure. You got to protect her. And girls, you got to protect yourself. It's like this real quick. I'm going to rewind real quick. When you meet a, another girl, does she immediately become your best friend? No, she don't. It takes a long time for her to become your best friend, right? So why is it sometimes when you meet a boy, all of a sudden, you know, within a couple days, you're doing things with him that you shouldn't? No. You got to save yourself for your best friend. You got to save yourself for, for your own reputation. You have to save yourself for you. And on that note, Fred White, signing off. <laughs>